If you may wonder if it's possible or not to create material takeoffs to calculate the areas of the painted areas in Revit, like let's say you use the paint tool, then you painted the wall, the part of the wall or the floor, and then you would like to uh, take exact numbers of how many square meters you, you painted, you can do that in Revit. It's pretty simple. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So for that purpose, I will just create a wall. Let's make this wall to be 10 meters so we can have, let's say, the clear values. And whenever you are testing something in Revit, my suggestion for you is to have, uh, if I can say, the clear numbers so you can count them very simply by yourself and then on that way you can control if your process is correct or not. Uh, in 3D view, I don't need uh, these annotation categories. And for this purpose, what I'm going to do is to create two materials. So the first one is going to be called, let's say, Arctisi red. And then let's just give this Arctisi color and I will put this render appearance as well. And then let's create one more and let's call this one as Arctisi blue. So here for the color, I will just take this blue one and then let's do the same for the render appearance. So we have it and I can just go and let's say I can create shade it or it doesn't matter. So what I need to do right now, by the way, just before I start with the calculation, you see that I have the wall, which is 10 meters length and three meters in height, which means that on one face we have 30 square meters. So if I go to split face, so you need to go to manage and then you will find here split face SF shortcut. And if I select this face, it means that I would like to split it. So I can just make to be three meters from one side and let's make it two meters from the other side. So here we have nine square meters and here we have six square meters. And if I, in this case, take paint tool, and if I take paint red here, so let's go to shaded. So we have nine square meters of red and then we have six square meters of blue. But it appears we cannot find where it appears. So how we can create uh, the schedule uh, to make this. You just need to go not here to schedule quantities. You need to go to new material takeoff. And in this case, because we are speaking about the walls, I need to go and pick a wall as a category. And here you see that we have a lot of things and parameters. So first of all, what I can see, I can just go here as material area, material, material is paint. Then I can just go, let's say to, to material name and I can just click. Okay. So let's see, what do we have? So first of all, as you can see, we have the, the default square meters has 30, uh, default wall has uh, 30 square meters. Then Arcatizzi Red has 9 and Arcatizzi Blue has 6. And if I create, let's say, this WT is a shortcut. It doesn't work anyway. Let's go here and then you create tile views. Maybe I was clicking something wrong. And let's say I will just close this, uh, uh, this view so we can make it like this. We have 6 and then we have 9. And let's say that I would like to that I would like to change this one, that I would like to change the boundary. So I would like to make this one to be four meters. You will see that we will have a change immediately. So it means that this works. And let's say that I would like to create one more boundary, which is, let's say, uh, one meter from here. So I would like to add three more square meters, meters of the blue one. So if I just click paint, take this blue one and then paint it here. You see that we got three square meters more. So it's pretty easy to schedule to schedule uh, paint areas. And uh, as you saw in interior workshop that uh, you don't need to create everything with the wall layers or so you can take a very simple way and approach uh, and uh, on a very quick way, you can also get a schedule. So yeah, I really hope that this, <laughs> this is going to help you.